demonstrating the feeding of yeast on sugar. Yeast is a fungus. It is a living organism that feeds on sugar and gives off carbon dioxide and either alcohol or water. Yeasts are used in making bread, beer and many carbonated drinks. The purpose of any substance used for leavening is to produce the gas carbon dioxide that makes bread rise. Yeast does this by feeding on the sugars in flour and expelling carbon dioxide in the process. While there are about 160 known species of yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, commonly known as baker's yeast, is the one most often used in the kitchen. Yeast is tiny. Just one gram holds about 25 billion cells. That amount of fungi can churn out a significant amount of carbon dioxide provided it has the simple sugars it uses as food. Fortunately, yeast can use its own enzymes to break down more complex sugars like the granulated sugar in the activity below into a form that it can consume. Let us make a yeast air balloon to get a better idea of what yeast can do. The materials required are one packet of active dry yeast, one cup very warm water about 105 degrees Fahrenheit to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, two tablespoons sugar, a large rubber balloon, a small empty water bottle. Procedure Stretch out the balloon by blowing it up repeatedly and then lay it aside. Add the packet of yeast and sugar into the cup of warm water and stir. Once the yeast and sugar have dissolved, pour the mixture into the bottle. You will notice the water bubbling as the yeast produces carbon dioxide. Attach the balloon to the mouth of the bottle and set both aside. After several minutes, you will notice the balloon standing upright. If you don't see anything happen, keep waiting. Eventually, the balloon will inflate. What happens? As the yeast feeds on the sugar, it produces carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide rises upwards and this gas slowly fills the balloon. A very similar process happens as bread rises. Carbon dioxide from yeast fills thousands of balloon-like bubbles in the bread dough. Once the bread has baked, this is what gives the loaf its airy texture.